Hello everyone. Today we are going to make a character aura effect. Here we have a character from Mixamo as an example. And a basic static mesh, similar to the sphere, but these end faces are deleted, UV is default UV. Then, there are some textures here, which are provided to us by Epic, you can download them for free on my Patreon. Okay, let's see the material, which is very important, because this effect is mainly completed using materials, there are no special steps in Niagara, these mods are all ones we have used before. Here is Aura material, which is similar to the shockwave material we made before. First is shape part, we use Aura texture as the basic shape, text cord to control its tiling, U tiling is 5, V tiling is 1, then add dynamic material parameters to control the random offset of UV. Of course, we need a distort effect. This texture used here is a normal texture of smoke. Using a normal texture will get two channels with different values, which will make the distort batter. If we only use a single noise texture, the values of all channels are the same, and the distort will be relatively simple. Text chord and UV offset are the same in normal texture. Then, we add panner, speedwise 1.5. We also need to add a panner for the shape, speed Y is 1, different speeds will batter. Finally, we add power, an exponent less than 1 to make the transition between texture values smoother. Then the world position offset part, still use these distort nodes here, but this time only a channel is needed, first multiplied by the vertex normal world space, then multiplied by the WPO in the dynamic material parameter. Since we use a total of 5 dynamic material parameters, we need an additional parameter index here, so that a world position offset effect is made, which can expand the mesh according to the normal. Next is refraction part, we just need to use the shape as the alpha in lerp, then set a to 1 as the default value, connect b to ref in the dynamic material parameter to control the intensity of the refraction. Ok, let's go back to the material, here we first connect the world position offset and refraction, then the emissive color part, use particle color multiply by the shape, connect it to driver HDR from LDR, get a brighter color effect. The last part is opacity, which also gets the shape, and multiplies it by the alpha channel in particle color, then multiplies it by mask texture. We use this texture to control the intensity of the UV edge to get a smooth transition value, OK multiply it by another texture. This texture uses dynamic material parameters to control the texture display range of the entire material. When this value is zero, the complete material is displayed. When the value slowly increases, the displayed area will decrease, just like power, creating a feeling of aura flow. Then multiply it by Fresnel to create a highlight effect for the edge of the sphere. Here we add one minus, because the normal Fresnel effect is to add highlights to the edges, but the aura is obviously not needed. We want to focus on the center, so we use 1 minus, finally multiply it by depth fade, which is opacity. Ok, now let's make Niagara. Here we use mesh renderer, find the sphere and the material we just created. Then change its life cycle to self. Add a spawn rate, set spawn count to 10. Yes. We can see these particles, and then in the initialize particle, set a random lifetime, 0.7 to 1. The color is set to red by default. And mesh size, the minute value is set to 6, 6, and 9. The max value is set to 9, 9, and 12. Then add a velocity, keep the default settings, just let the particles move up slowly, add initialize mesh orientation, set a random z-axis. OK. In the particle update, we add update mesh orientation, the same thing, just set it to the z-axis, and set rate to negative 0.1 to 0.1. Then add scale mesh size, use three curves to adjust xyz axis values, keep the x-axis and y-axis consistent from 1 to 0 0.75 and the z-axis needs to go from 1 to 2. Yes, it looks good. 
Now let's set the scale color. We can use float to control the three RGB channels uniformly. Select the template curve and set the scale curve to 10. The same is true for colors alpha, but the scale curve is 0.2. Okay, next we need to set the dynamic material parameters. Here we have five parameters to set, random UV offset, 0 to 1, refraction set to 1.05. Yes, we can see the refraction, add a curve from 0.5 to 1 to the mask, then set the world position offset to a random, 50 to 200. Okay, let's take a look in the level, attach it to the character. The refraction effect is a bit too strong. Let's adjust the refraction to 1.01. .01. Yes, this is a simple aura effect. Then we add a glow, which we have done many times. It's very simple. Self, infinite. Change the spawn rate to 5, then set a random lifetime from 0.8 to 1.2. The color is also set to red by default, and the size from 30 to 50. Add the velocity as well, and we need a shape location as the initial random location. Here we use cylinder, set the radius to 20, and the height to 10. For scale sprite size, we use two different scaling directions. X from 1 to 5, and Y from 2 to 10. For scale color, we still use float, and as before, we set the curve scaling value a little smaller, so that the particles look like glow. Finally, we make spark. And these settings are basically the same. But the number is a little higher, 100. Then the lifetime is also a little longer, 1 to 2. The color is still red, and the sprite size is 2 to 4. Shape location, using cylinder, this time change it to 100. Then add a velocity again, in all directions, random range, negative 100 to 100. In particle update, add scale sprite size, using this template curve. Then scale color, still this default curve. and add curl noise force, set the force to 1000 to 2000, as well as frequency and field. Then add a drag. Okay, now let's take a look. Yes, we have made a simple character aura effect. So that's all for this video, I hope you like it, bye.